Hello everyone, welcome to Midboy. Today we are going to talk about mechanism of action of adenosine. Adenosine is naturally occurring purine found in our body. It's formed from breaking down of ATP. ATP is dephosphorylated to ADP to release energy. This ADP can further be dephosphorylated to AMP to release energy. So, uh, this ADP and AMP can further be rephosphorylated to ATP in presence of mitochondria. Uh, it involves a series of uh, enzymatic reactions and uh, presence of oxygen during conditions where ATP is more and more dephosphorylated and there is less availability of oxygen AMP is converted to adenosine by dephosphorylation so this adenosine acts on different receptors in the body to show various physiological actions Adenosine acts on different cell types uh, like coronary, vascular, smooth muscle, blood vessels. cardiac tissue cardiac pacemaker and not to forget sympathetic nerve terminals Uh, adenosine has uh, two main receptors type 1 adenosine receptors and type 2 adenosine receptors these receptors are present on different uh, on different tissues which we are going to discuss in this video by binding to these receptors adenosine has various uh, physiological actions here mainly i'm going to discuss vasoconstriction Or relaxation and also I'm gonna discuss the different G protein couple receptors if you don't know how does vasoconstriction or relaxation occurs or even if you don't know what are G protein couple receptors and what are the different subtype which uh, causes vasoconstriction or relaxation you can watch my another video for which I'm leaving the links in the description down below so continuing this video we will discuss in detail uh, how adenosine acts on different tissues so let's talk about mechanism of action of adenosine on uh, coronary vascular smooth muscle uh, this coronary vascular smooth muscle uh, it contains a2 kind of uh, receptors this receptor is found bounded itself to gs type of g protein couple receptor when adenosine attaches to the receptor it activates the g protein couple receptor and causes three main actions those are it stimulates adenylene cyclase and also increases cyclic AMP 
and also produces protein kinase. These factors bring about opening of K plus channel due to which K plus efflux occurs and this cell gets hyperpolarized and vascular relaxation occurs and also increased cyclic AMP inhibits myosin light chain kinases by inhibiting myosin light chain kinases uh, it uh, inhibits phosphorylation of myosin which inhibits the contraction force so it implies relaxation of smooth muscle Another action is it also inhibits L-type calcium channels which inhibits entry of calcium which further causes relaxation so that was the action of adenosine on coronary vascular smooth muscle uh, let's see action of uh, adenosine on blood vessels In blood vessels, adenosine is believed to increase cyclic GMP, guanosine monophosphate. By increasing cyclic GMP, it inhibits entry of calcium into the cell. And also, it promotes K plus F flux. which causes vasodilation thus the action of uh, adenosine on blood vessels adenosine action on sympathetic nerve terminals These sympathetic nerve terminals has purinergic receptors adenosine by binding to purinergic receptors inhibits the release of noradrenaline let's see the action of adenosine or cardiac tissue
cardiac tissue mainly contains A1 type of adenosine receptors. This A1 type of uh, adenosine receptor is found itself bound to GI type of G protein coupled receptors. By binding of adenosine to A1 receptor activates G1 receptor and it causes opening of K plus channels. And the cell becomes hyperpolarized and uh, which eventually leads to vascular relaxation and it also causes decreased CAMP levels cyclic adenosine monophosphate levels this, uh, this decreased cyclic uh, AMP levels inhibits L-type calcium channels which inhibits calcium entry which eventually leads to hyperpolarization and uh, and also causes vascular relaxation now let's see action of adenosine on cardiac pacemaker Uh, cardiac pacemaker when we are talking about cardiac pacemaker we are mainly talking about the SA node the sinoatrial node it contains A1 type of adenosine receptors when adenosine binds to A1 receptor here it uh, inhibits pacemaker current and further it decreases slope of phase 4 uh, thereby it causes negative chronotrophy negative chronotrophy means uh, it decreases the spontaneous firing rate of the heart and also activation of this A1 receptor causes uh, inhibition of uh, L-type calcium channels which decreases conduction velocity which shows negative dronotrophy negative dronotrophy means decrease in the conduction velocity this negative dronotropic effect is mainly seen in AV node that is the atrioventricular node In terms of electric conductivity, adenosine decreases heart rate and decreases conduction velocity. This conduction, a decrease in conduction velocity is mainly seen in AV node so it is referred to as atrioventricular block but however that when adenosine is infused into humans heart rate increases because of baroreceptor reflexes caused by systemic vasodilation and hypotension i end this video here to know more about therapeutic uses and drug profile of adenosine click on the link to in the description down below and also subscribe for more video updates thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button. See you.